Good evening, cult members, and welcome to Pop Culture Cult. I'm Sean. I'm Janice. And welcome to our trailer reaction for uh, Moon Knight, uh, something we've actually been uh, excited about for a while. And Oscar Isaac, uh, and uh, we're done with the Cardinals game so, as, as Cardinal fans. Um, so we're interested in this trailer for so something positive. <laughs> so here we go, Moon Knight, and go. Hello, and welcome to Staying Awake. I have a sleeping disorder. I can't tell the difference between my waking life and dreams. Hello, and welcome to Staying Awake. <laughs> nice. Nice. I'm losing it. We'll catch you on. You're bloody useless. Stevie. Steven. <laughs> I can't tell the difference between my eyes and, and dreams. dreams. Oh, oh, oh. Thank you. Lost the contact lens. <laughs> Hope you find it. Sure you did. Thanks. I do. What is this is accent he's doing. Yeah. Oh my god, you're alive. What's wrong with you, Mark? Mark? Why did you call me Mark? <laughs> it must be very difficult to fight. The voice is in your head. Shut up! There's chaos in you. <laughs> <laughs> Embrace the chaos. Embrace the chaos. Okay. Embrace the chaos. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah, it looks darker than Disney Moon Knight is very Plus. dark. Yeah, so that's interesting, right? Because it's Disney and they've always tried to be they've always tried to take the lighter side of their dark material. So we'll see what they do with yeah. this. Yeah. I'm trying to wreck my brain a little bit about kind of some of the I mean uh what if was a little could be dark at times with some of the stuff that they did with um with the zombie episode and and what happened with dr strange and yeah, stuff like that yeah it could be a little dark but that was cartoons so yeah it, it animated at it's least it's a little and, easier to yeah, yeah. digest whatever yeah, yeah. um so. so um because the game was so terrible and i know um about jack and squat about moon knight i've been reading <laughs> up on a little bit about it and um the character has been around for the 80 since the 80s and he's had many different versions of this character everything from working for the avengers and working for the west coast avengers and uh, just all kinds of different things but the base idea is uh mercenary who um gets possessed by kind of shoe I, I don't Go at me too bad. I cannot remember the name of the, the, the of the Egyptian god. Right. And he also has multiple personality disorders. So he Mark Spector is or Spector yeah, Spector is is his mercenary title, but he also goes by another person who is a taxi driver. And then he and, and then and apparently uh, he works at the British Museum. The British Museum in, the, in this as version. Stephen somebody. Yeah, yeah. So he's going to have multiple personalities and dealing with that kind of that issue of right. having multiple personalities. Oh, by the way, an Egyptian god now possesses him. Yes. That would be interesting for the Egyptian god. <laughs> uh, right, right. Of all the people that you could possess, you possess somebody with multiple personalities. <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> but the idea is is that he protects those in the night which is why moon night and, right. and and he also wears all white during the night to have the bad guys see him coming and mm -hmm. unlike batman he is kind of the marvel version of batman he kind of 
uh, not the rich guy, not the rich kid who you know tries to make right what his parents did, but more of the that's Tony. Uh, that's more Tony. It's <laughs> very much more Tony. But it's it, it, he is much more the character of um, the vigilante kind of street level kind of guy. He just happens to be um, at least. Um, partially controlled or partially enabled by this Egyptian god. Okay. And so with the idea of that and this multiple personality disorder that he has, there it's going to get weird. Like yeah. it's going to get it's going to get dark and it's going to get weird and stuff like that. Um and that it, it's being set in London it feels like. Mm -hmm. I mean they showed the pyramids so um makes it easier for him to travel around Europe and and Egypt and all of that if he's based out of the UK versus the US. Yeah, yeah. And I feel like with this, like, we got a teaser trailer. What was that? Disney Plus Day? The Investor yeah, Day? Yeah, yeah one Plus of those. Day, yeah, like one that. of those. Um, that one showed the suit, but didn't really go into, like, why did you call me by a different name and him kind of having problems sleeping and, and, and yeah. very Tyler Durden kind of feel to him where he doesn't know what he's doing during his sleeping time. Right. Um, and then Ethan Hawke. Yeah. As. With the epic wig. Uh... I've actually seen a video of him recently doing an interview for something else. And he has that hair right now. Really? So the hair, <laughs> and he has a full beard too. Um, but, um, Ethan was very vocal with a lot of other people about the MCU and the superhero genre that is going on right now and how it's taking away from other people, uh, other avenues of storytelling, the mid range kind of art house kind of storytelling or whatever. Okay. And then um, he got a phone call from his friend Oscar saying, you want to be the bad guy in this Marvel series. And they pitched it to him, and he was very interested in it because it's a very different kind of story. It's a very different character for him to play. Right. And I, I find that very refreshing, actually. Yeah. I mean, potentially Marvel, Disney is taking that to heart. And yeah. um, Iron Man, Avengers, all of that gives them... Uh, a road in right they've they've captured the audience so now they can yep. do these kind of potentially weirder or more avant-garde more story based um different you know we've already seen that with black panther and shang chi where they're um bringing in different cultures yep. and yep. um and the storytelling processes with like eternals eternals yeah. was a very it was a character study of of, of 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 family dynamic and and I and I I really love what they did in that movie and or Shang Chi and and kind of bringing in a different culture but yeah. also telling a different style style of storytelling right and I, I really appreciate but that. now they've they, but they've got the audience which allows them to now present these and you know there's some fanboys out there that aren't going to like it but that's okay because they've got that base audience they're not presenting. Shang-Chi all by itself and trying to win an audience. They've already got an audience, you know, a couple of people may be like, mm, right. not for me, but, right, right, and, right. and same thing with this and WandaVision, they can be a little uh, Loki. They can be a little more weird and weird tell a different story and, and, and take chances. Yeah. Yep. WandaVision was a chance, but doing the, each episode is a different genre of television yeah. you have the different loki variants yeah. you have the spy drama that it was falcon and Winter soldier yeah. so you have like, like i like that I like, I like that they've gotten to a point now where the audience we as the audience trust them to do um to take to take risks and take risks that make sense right uh, and, and, <laughs> and they can educate you while you're not paying attention <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, and and this actually kind of feels like it's going to be a a character study this i'm not saying this is what's going to happen but i like this idea of a joker uh, uh kind of story within the mcu a not necessarily a big action-packed fisticuffs although you do see moon knight beating somebody up in a bathroom or something i don't know what's <laughs> going on there but but much more of a um let's talk about mental illness yeah 
uh, and that thing wrapped up in this idea of somebody who is a vigilante who is actually able to have powers and go out and do stuff or whatever but it also sets up that kind of not the magic part but like the the mysticism that is going to be blade and and black knight and like kind of laying out that it could it, it could get weird but you're also talking about you know Dracula is in is in Marvel and you know Black Knight and Blade and Moon Knight and Ghost Rider and like like yeah. those kind of yeah. kind of adding to the building a bigger scope of storytelling right. than what you've got You've right got now. the yeah. mystical magical whatever from yeah. Doctor Strange and then this is more of the almost um religious historical not necessarily yeah. christian religion but other religions i mean obviously uh, gods and stuff from egypt that was that was their religion or is their religion and and you know vampires are part of uh christianity and yeah. so they're yeah. they're able to kind of bring that in from another another side you've got the doctor strange stuff and the wanda stuff over here and then the kind of blade moon knight yeah, I, I Eternals, re- Eternals kind yeah. of stuff going yeah, on. Yeah, I here. really like that. I yeah. really like that there yeah. are, that you could do the earth based and uh, earth based, but the street level stuff that we're getting with like Hawkeye and Falcon and Winter Soldier, you're getting the mysticism of Doctor Strange and WandaVision and all that's going on. Yeah. You get this um God. monsters kind of like universal monsters kind of view of the world with Dracula and you know, yeah. Blade and all kind or of like stuff or whatever. old gods old religion I mean obviously yeah, all that yeah. stuff came from somewhere um you know the stories the old stories of Dracula and all that came from some something yeah where we know yeah. that um Vlad was a person and that was kind of who Dracula was based off yeah. of and the Egyptian gods, you know, those are yeah. old religions, so they can kind of bring that stuff into. I like it. I, I'm liking it. I'm liking what I'm seeing here. Um, and I think ultimately they didn't show us anything more than the like the second episode. I oh, think yeah. it's supposed to be eight episodes, but I don't know for sure. But I, 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 I don't think they show us anything more than the second episode. That's something that Marvel's been pretty good about lately. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. Uh, but March 30th, episode. a lot of people were complaining that we weren't going to get anything for a while because uh, they pushed – um multi, uh, multiverse of madness yep. to may yep. april may. may so we're going to get something before that right. so um um go which... watch boba fett go watch boba fett <laughs> it's good and, and speeders uh so let us know what you thought of this trailer and our reaction to it in the comments down below please be nice that is a requi- requirement around here Oh boy. And uh, uh, like this video, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell for notifications, follow us on all the social media stuff, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. Links are in the description down below. And until next time, cult members, good afternoon, good evening, and good night now.